Hey, it's John Whelan. Some people call me Mr. Downtown Del Rey. Welcome back to my July How's the Del Rey Beach Real Estate Market Update. Today, I've got a handful of charts that I got to get to right away. I'm going to show number of listings and how they're plateauing. Talk about median sales prices are going up. We're going to talk about the number of pending listings as well as the number of active listing price drops happening in the market today. I want to get to two bonus charts you're going to love at the very end. Number one, about affordability, how it applies to Delray Beach, as well as two different sellers got two different results. How did they do that? Let's get started. So the first chart is about active listings. I have two of them. One, let's take a look at the three-year chart. You can see going back to 2021, the overall trend over the last three years has been up with a couple of blips in there. But if you look at the second chart, this is the one about the over the last year. You can see that starting this time last year, last August, inventory raced higher. It went up about 83% from about 1,000 units to over 1,800 units, that's a massive increase in inventory in a short period of time. It went from a seller's to a buyer's market. And then take a look, in March of this year, it peaked and since then it's been a handful of months where it's plateauing and actually falling a little bit. So are we still in a buyer's market or have we transitioned into the seller's market? A lot of the other data says we're right in between. It's both a mixed and balanced market today, but the active listings is clearly something we want to look at as a leading indicator moving forward. Before I talk about median sales price, I want to remind those, if you're not following along on my weekly e-leather that comes out every Wednesday, down below is a link. Sign up. It's free. No harm, no foul. I get more compliments and comments about my weekly e-letter where I talk about all things Delray Beach, what the city's doing, what real estate's doing, what businesses are coming in and leaving. It's all about Delray Beach. People love it. I know you will as well. Just fill out your information below. I'll get it to you right away. Now let's take a look at the median sales price in this comprehensive chart. Pull it up. So you can look at all the other data if you'd like to, but hone your eyeballs on the median sales price. You can see that this July versus July 2023, the median sales price is up just over 10%. And on a year over year basis, it's up 11.5%. So although you'll see a lot of data that doesn't look positive for the real estate market, listings, pending listings, all these things that are going down, the median sales price is still very strong and improving. Why is that? Well, because the data has not transitioned from one and two years ago and starting to catch up. So over the next four or five months, you'll start to see this number slow because of all the data that's been going on prior this year. Next is my favorite leading indicator it's about pending listings. What does that mean? It's listings that have contracts on them. They're not under contract. They're now in escrow. They're pending, but they're not closing for another 10, 20, 30 days because there's still work to be done. But this is a leading indicator because it's not closed data. It's stuff that's going to happen in the future. Take a look at the information that comes from this. You can see that July of this year versus July last year, it went from 293 pending listings a year ago to 233. That's a 20% drop in pending listings. That's not good. That shows that the market is softening. On a year over year basis, look, from 2023 to 2032 units this year, that's an almost 12% drop. Pending listings is a very important leading indicator to show is the market strengthening or softening with sales volume. Now this final chart is about the average price drop of active listings. You mean they price it up here and it's active and they keep dropping the price. Take a look at this. The average price drop of active listings in Delray Beach right now is 8.58%. The median drop is 7.14%. That means that sellers have been pricing it too high and no one's buying it. So it's the Dutch auction. They just keep lowering the price. That's not good. Speaking of things not being good, affordability is really bad. Look at these next two charts, which are a part of my bonus material I want to share with you. This data is a couple months old, but I checked on the NAR website. It's still pretty much the same. The first chart shows this. Basically, the affordability index. The lower the number, the worse it is. The higher the number means more people can afford properties. Over the last four years, it has been destroyed. Why? higher prices, higher inflation, higher mortgage rates. Why is that happening? Take a look at the next chart. This is the share of income. So the percentage of income that you need to buy a median price house in America. Four years ago, you only needed about 28 to 30% of your income to buy. Today it's at 43%. That means that people need to either make a lot more money to buy a home or prices have got to come down. That's just a fact of today's real estate market. 
Now for bonus number two, sit back, relax. It's time for me to tell you a story about the results of two separate sellers that happened to me in the last 60 days. Seller number one asked me to do a competitive market analysis. I presented him with a thorough report where his price came in at about $690,000. Shocked, surprised, he couldn't believe it. He thought that was worth 950. That is a 34% increase from what the actual market was. What has happened in the last 60 days? Mm, nothing. It's still in the market. He's probably thinking, gosh, maybe I should have listened or brought my price down. That's story number one. Story number two is a seller who said, John, give me a CMA, a competitive market analysis. I want to sell. I don't want to worry about what's been going on in the market. I need the current price right now. Find me as many buyers as you can. I did the same CMA presented him with a complete report of exactly what's going on in his condominium building. We priced it at this one price that we both agreed on. Within four days, we had two offers and we were under contract in less than a week. Seller number one or seller number two. Today's world is all about pricing your property right. If you misprice it, you're gonna be a part of that graph I showed you earlier where you're gonna be following a Dutch auction and you're gonna be following the market down or like many sellers are now doing, they're just canceling their listing agreement and they're taking the property off the market. Do you wanna sell your home or not? That's the question. And speaking of stories, I'll end it with this. This is the largest story in real estate's history. Mark your calendar, August 17th. That's when the way we do business with sellers and buyers completely changes. I have lots of blog information in my website below. Click the links. I've talked about it in my past videos. Right now I'm doing a video that's gonna come out in just a few days that will give you a comprehensive, how does this thing work? It's basically relationship-based, but now like we do with sellers, when we get a listing, we sign a listing contract. Starting August 17th, when we work with buyers, we're gonna get a buyer representation contract on expectations of what the services are, what you're gonna get, and what that compensation looks like. It's fully disclosed, fully transparent. Too much to get into it in today's How's the market update? Down below is all the information. If you're thinking of selling, call me. I'd love to sit out with you, do a competitive market analysis, price your property for today's market so you can sell. And if you're thinking about buying, my information is down below. Let's get some coffee. We'll see you next month.